Hello everybody and welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I'm here with my February Unplugged book box unboxing. Let's jump right into it. I don't know that anything is really going to top last month's book for me because uh, it was a pretty amazing box. I am uh, overjoyed, overjoyed still. Cannot get over it. Cannot get over the pictures. Cannot get over the hype and just how amazing that feeling was to be included in January's Unplugged book box. Life goes on. We must move past it and I'm very excited for February's box. You can totally see my tissues. I'm sorry. Guys, allergy season has not ended here. We're gonna jump right into February, which is a journey through time, or just a journey through time. I can see it in here. Oh, things have fallen. This is an Unplugged Book Box gift card. It says, this is your final Unplugged Book Box in your gift subscription. We hope you loved your subscription with Unplugged Book Box. As a small business, your support means the world to us. If you'd like to continue your subscription, please use code GIFTED10 for a discount. I'll touch base with Melanie, but that might be something new that they're doing, just to let you know. This is our card, Journey Through Time. I'm not going to look at any of this just yet. I haven't been spoiled for the items in the box, but I don't, do know the book, so I want to uh, let myself be surprised. Here we go. First up, I'm going to get this one out of the way because I don't know what to do with it. These are molds. I think they are either baking molds, cupcake molds, or like chocolate molds, but they're TARDIS, like um, Doctor Who themed. I'm gonna leave them in the wrapper because I literally don't know what to do with these things. We'll look at the spoiler card later, but I, I don't exactly know what that is. We have a lovely little bag. I like that they do these. I keep these and reuse them. I used to put a whole bunch of like diamond painting stuff in them, and I stopped diamond painting, but I still use these to re-gift things. This says, relax and unwind, a eucalyptus mint breathe easy shower steamer. I love these. You just place them in the bottom of your shower, then they like steam up like a bath bomb would, except if you don't have a bath like I don't. These are fantastic. Although you can just break up your bath bombs and use them like shower steamers. Just be careful because the bottom of your shower might get a little bit like slippery. So be careful, but love this. I don't see who this is by. I will keep you posted when we look at the spoiler card. I also have a very tiny shower, so it says, like, put it out of direct line of, like, the water spray. I'm like, there is no indirect line of water spray in my shower. It's like one of those little tiny stall ones <laughs> in my apartment. We have some tea. This is Time Spinner, which I would assume is the Time Traveler's wife, but I don't know. It's black tea, orange peel, cinnamon chips, ooh, dried currants, ginger root, cloves, hibiscus, apple. This sounds amazing from the Simply Bookish Tea company. And I do know that we are getting, we are getting tea in all of our boxes this year. It's like a theme for the year. I love tea. This is going to be one that I absolutely adore. Love, love, love that. We have a candle, which is amazing because I've already burned through my candle from my book box last month and like all of my other ones too. I'm really on like a candle phase right now. This one smells amazing. Like all good works of fiction, it lies like the truth. This is a hand poured uh, candle that is a soy candle from Natural Pure Honest. Love them. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Vanilla and Amorous. It's from Kindred by Octavia Butler. It smells absolutely amazing. It looks very like galaxy celestial. There is like a gorgeous glitter sheen on there. It smells, it smells so good. I will look at the spoiler card, but that smells amazing. A little wooden box. I love these for just like little knick-knacky things. And it has like a little map on the top and a little lock closure here. I will give you a close up. Uh, nothing inside of it, but a great little like trinket box and really cute for like bookstagram photos too. I'm into this and a journey uh, through time. This makes sense because it's like a little map. There's a little map on top. It's just like a little chest that you can put your little trinkets inside of. Very cute. I like that. That looks great on a shelf too. And then we have a box which feels very muggish. It is substantial. Yes, we have a mug. So I don't know what this is or who this is, but I love this color. This gorgeous blue. Look how vibrant that is. This, oh, this is Outlander. Aww. I don't love Outlander, but this is very pretty. Your face is my heart, and the love of you is my soul. 
and a quote on the back. It's very faint, but you can see it there. It's very pretty. Um, sorry, ring light issues. I ended up DNFing like Outlander, the first book, like partway through. It was just not, not my jam. I feel like uh, historical in general is a little bit iffy for me, but I can get into it under the right circumstances. But like some of it was too, it was too much. I don't want to beat you, but I must. No, thank you. We have a beautiful, beautiful book plate. How cool is she? Love this. And then this month's book, which I know, I think, I'm pretty sure is historical, but also witchy, and I'm here for it. We have a paperback. Yes, look at how stunning that book is. This is the A Lullaby for Witches by Hester Fox, who also wrote The Witch of, the Will of Willow Hall. Weaves a spell of darkness that's mysterious and magical and binds it with a knot of deathless love. That is like one of the most beautiful covers. I love this tealy color scheme with like the gold. I mean, who would have known? But I really like these colors. Ooh, very pretty. All right, let's read a little bit about it. Two women, a history of witchcraft and a deep rooted female power that sings across the centuries. Once there was a young woman from a well-to-do New England family who never quite fit with the drawling rooms and parlors of her kin called instead to the tangled woods and the wild cliffs surrounding her family's estate, Margaret grew both stranger and more beautiful as she cultivated her uncanny power. Soon whispers of witch dogged her footsteps and Margaret's power began to wind itself with the tendrils of something darker. 150 years later, Augusta takes a dream job at Harlow House, the historic home of the wealthy New England family that's been turned into a small museum in Massachusetts. When Augusta stumbles across an oblique reference to a daughter of the Harlows who has nearly been expunged from historical records, the mystery is too intriguing to ignore. But as she digs deeper, something sinister unfurls from its sleep, a dark power that binds one woman to the other across lines of blood and time. If Augusta can't resist its allure, everything she knows and loves, including her very life, could be lost forever. I'm very excited to get into this. Uh, let's look at the spoiler card. I'm also going to put this directly in there. Uh, what we don't have this month that I can tell is an author letter, which is a bummer, but that's okay. So let's see a little bit more about our items. We have the Outlander mug, the art of Nathan, Nathan Nameria, and that is Outlander. We have our Discovery of Witches collectible tea. I did read the Discovery of Witches a very long time ago, but I have read it, so very nice. Octavia Butler's Kindred candle. It smells so good. Natural, pure, honest. This one is the Simply Bookish Co. Just the Simply Bookish Co. Not tea. Just the Simply Bookish Co. The Doctor Who silicone mold. Uh, doesn't say who it's from, but it can be used for making ice, chocolates, or crafts. And then the Time Traveler's uh, box. Mini trinket box from the Time Traveler's wife. And then the shower steamer is by the Bath Apothecary. There wasn't anything on there about that, but uh, where is it? So this is by the Bath Apothecary. This book was released on February 1st from HarperCollins. Uh, we do not seem to have any information about the author or the story in this. There's a photo challenge, as always, prompts to help us through the month, uh, what you're thankful for, your favorite ac accomplishments, happiest memory, something bugging you lately, 20 things you're grateful for, and then a Scottish recipe inspired by Outlander. And then next month we have Spellbound. Very excited about that for the adult box. Uh, the book of the month is a fantasy about witches. It's a contemporary romance. Included in the next tea party collectible item is something that they've never done before and it's a novelty item. Also includes some gorgeous unique self-care items. Everything is exclusive to the box. I love that. So this has been February's Unplugged Book Box unboxing. I am so excited about this book and thrilled about this cover. Like if I had room on my shelves, I would face it out because I think it's so stunning. I enjoy this box. I love the tea. I love the candle. I love the steamer. I love the mug. But that is everything for February's Unplugged Book Box unboxing. Again, my heart can't get over <laughs> that my book was in there last month. But honestly just as thrilled with this one. This is phenomenal and I want to go 
I want to go light this candle right now. It smells so good. If you like this, uh, do check out down below all of the links. I will have unplugged down there. They are transitioning or have transitioned now to their own website. So all their info is linked down below. You can use my code for 5% off of a subscription. But go show Melanie and the unplugged team some love. Um, if you got this box, let me know what your favorite item is. Have you heard anything about this book? I know it's like just newly out-ish, but I'm curious if you have any thoughts about this book. Thank you everybody for watching. If you like this video, do give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.